what is going on guys welcome back to another video in my channel so in today's video i'm going to show you the number one app to import reviews from aliexpress into your shopify store now i do know that i already have a video about it and first of all thank you so much for the love on this video i never expected it to get almost to 20 000 views that is absolutely amazing so thank you guys now the reason why i make this video is quite simple last month for some reason review app which is the app that i'm talking in this video went mia for some reason so in that time we were testing out different apps to import reviews from aliexpress to shopify and we actually found a better app than ribu at least in my opinion we started using this app in every one of our new stores and the main reasons for that is because a you can import more reviews than ribu so on ribu you can have up to 20 reviews per product it looks more professional than ribu in my opinion and another major thing is that it's not loading as slow as ribu so because you're using ribu for free it's kind of it has an option of like lazy load so basically it's just loading your reviews after a few seconds when you go into that section on your site and this one shows up immediately now i do want to mention one downside of this app is that it's not that 100 percent customizable as ribu but it's almost almost there so it's still in my opinion much better than ribu some of the things that we're going to cover in this video is of course the app and there is another app that you need to use to actually have your reviews on your store i'm going to show you exactly how to import the reviews using this app i'm going to show you how to set up a beautiful looking reviews carousel on your homepage and some major major settings that you must set up to not do the mistakes that i did so make sure you watch until the end of this video all right just before we dive in straight to the video of course make sure to subscribe to the family and hit that bell notification so you will not miss out any upcoming video and if you want to download a full case study for free of our first winning shopify store check out the first or second link in the description below highly highly recommended to check that out especially right now during this time of the year all right so without further ado let's dive straight into it all right so the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to install the app called aliexpress review importer by judge me so to be able to actually import the reviews from aliexpress into your store you will have to install this one so let's install that it's again it's free all right let's hit install all right so now it's kind of showing you the two options that you have and it's talking about the other app the judge me app but we're going to touch it later on the first thing that we need to do is to focus on this app so let's hit next and start importing now so all we need to do is actually to get our aliexpress product link so let me open that so for this example i chose the bunion corrector product i'm sure most of you know this product so what i'm going to do is going i'm going to copy the link of the product on aliexpress i'm going to go over here and click import reviews from aliexpress you want to paste the link just over here now over here you need to choose the name of the product so let's type in bunion corrector all right so it's two piece bun and corrector all right next thing that you want to do is you can actually import up to 500 reviews that's right guys up to 500 so if your product has a lot of reviews on aliexpress you can definitely go crazy and get even up to 500 even a thousand i know but in one time you can do only 500 so for the example let's go with a 15 you know what let's do it like 50 the rating you want to do a four and above why because there is no product with only five star reviews so you do want to have some fours down here you can basically choose which countries you want to have the uh, reviews from so let's say if you do have like a lot like massive amount of reviews like this product on aliexpress does have over 2,000 reviews and you probably already know that if let's say the customer's country is not from the united states or an english speaking country you see that in the translation settings is going to automatically translate it from their language to english and most of the time the translation is not going to be good so if you do have massive amount of reviews on the aliexpress link you can just choose the english speaking countries but for example i'm going to leave it as it is now the next thing that we're going to do is basically over here i'm always importing product reviews with images so to do that just check this box over here so let's keep scrolling down and email you if let's say you're going crazy and you're importing actually 500 you can just you know let it run on the back end and then they're going to send you an email updating you that it's uh, finished so i'm going to deselect that and i'm going to click import reviews now let's click on go to dashboard and let's go to the reviews over here and boom you should see all the reviews with images over here so it should be 50 reviews so let's refresh that really quick all right so we actually have 50 reviews as you can see now you're still not going to see the reviews on the store because we need to install the second app but just before we're going to do that if you do want to edit your reviews this is the place that you need to do it the second app is going to kind of control your appearance and the way 
way that the reviews look on your site but this one is where you actually import your views and you added them over here so to do that you just click on edit and you can add it in name you can edit the rating the review title and the review body now the downside of this app as i mentioned before is that you cannot change images if you want so i do recommend you to just upload as many reviews with images as you possibly can and just leave the ones that you do like so if let's say this image i don't really like this image so i'm just man that that is like a really ugly toe so i'm just going to click over here on delete and i'm going to delete that and that's it it's gone so make sure you do have like really good high quality images on your reviews and just make sure to go over the text and make sure that it makes sense and the reviews are written in at least like a proper english one trick that i'm personally doing myself instead of trying rewriting their descriptions or just thinking about okay what i'm going to type in i'm just going to amazon.com which is us customers i'm finding the same product and trust me 99 percent of the time you will find the same product on amazon.com i'm going down to the reviews and i'm just copying an english native speaking reviews and i'm pasting them just over here so let's close that so now what we need to do is actually to go ahead and install the second app which called judgeme.me so all you need to do is just to go to your home page and you will see it straight over here so let's click on that let's click add app scroll down over here and you want to choose to install now so as i said it's free so don't worry about the 15 bucks a month only if you're going to use the upgraded version then you're going to pay actual this amount so let's install the app so on the setup you have two options go with this one installation by judge.me so let's click start installation over here you can select where you want to show product reviews i keep it as it is let's hit next now this option gives you an option to show the reviews on published theme that you are working on right now on your store or an unpublished theme so if let's say you already have a store and you started working on a new theme and you want to make your original store look much better and you're working on maybe a paid theme on the back end and you wait still waiting to publish it so you can actually see the reviews on an unpublished theme if you're going to choose this one so let's click on the install button all right so in case you just like playing around and you just started building your store you will get a message like that this is just an example store so obviously i don't pay a plan over here and it's just like store for this tutorial so to be able to see the review you just click on this button over here all right and there you go you see that it installed and like automatically it's going to install the reviews in the color of the rest of your site which in my case is this ugly gray but i'm okay with that so you can see we have 49 reviews guys 49 reviews and if you're going to scroll down you can see everything is over here with images and everything looks very professional i do think i'm not sure but i do think that fashion nova they are using this app or something that looks extremely similar to this one so overall i really like the vibe of this app now just before you click out of this video i do mention that we want to make sure that we do set up some of the important stuff in this app so we will not have mistakes that i had so for example if you're going to click over here on write review so it doesn't matter if you are a customer you are not a customer anyone and i repeat anyone can go and like type whatever they want on the reviews and it's going to be automatically published so please stay until the end of this video to make sure that you do set up the settings correctly so if i will type in my name over here alexander the email the rating let's do one rating the review title let's call bs and bs over here and submit the review so in a matter of like couple minutes you will see the review over here you see please refresh the page and in a few moments you will see your review so obviously you don't want to have this option now the option that i'm going to show you is how to set up an approval request so basically every time that somebody would like to leave a review to your product on your site you will have to actually approve it and only then it's going to show up on your site so this way you will not have any kind of negative reviews trust me guys i was spending hundreds of bucks on facebook ads running ads to my product page and i had like bad reviews and i didn't even realize what can be the problem why my conversions are dropping all right moving on to creating our beautiful reviews carousel on our home page so all you need to do is to go to settings over here then you want to go to other widgets and over here you see reviews carousel now basically all you need to do is just to enable it just like this and beneath that you have two options or judge me going automatically to show your five star reviews or you can manually select which reviews you want to show on your carousel so i would just leave it for this example on automatic you do have a video that explains you exactly how to do it manually if you do want it over here you can basically select how you want it to look but i think that just the default looks really good in the center you have like the images and everything scrolling down you have just the text let customers speak for us and basically all the rest of the settings are like good so just click on save free settings and you are done you do have one step to 
complete to be able to see the carousel on your homepage, which basically they explain you that in that video, but I'm going to do that really, really quick. So what we need to do is to go to online store and then we want to click on customize. Now on the left side of the theme settings, you need to click on add section and then you have this section over here, judge.me section and you click on featured review carousel and you click add and boom, there you have it. That simple guys, you have it with the images of the products that they bought and you have a beautiful five star looking reviews on your homepage. Nowadays, when I set up a new store, I always make sure to create this beautiful looking carousel. As you can see, it's very easy to set up. So why not? So after that, let's hit the save button. All right, going back to judge me, I want to show you exactly how you can change the color of this star widget. So what we need to do is to go again to settings overview. We're going to scroll down until the review widget and click on widget star color. And over here, basically all you need to do just to click on that and choose which color do you want or just paste the code of your color let's say you have like a branded store and you want it to be in the exact same color so just paste the code over here and then you scroll down and you click on save free settings the next thing that i want to go over with you is the review request so if you don't know basically this app is sending automatically emails to your customers to go back to your store and leave reviews now the problem with that that they're sending those requests within let's say 14 days but if you ship out from china it's probably going to take around a month maybe even more to get to the customer so this is how you can actually get a lot of angry reviews on your product page which you don't want so let me show you exactly how to disable that so all you need to do is to go to conditions and enable requests and you do want to make sure you turn off both of those buttons over here and click again save free settings so basically right now judge me are not going to send out any reviews requests to your customers so that is the first thing let's go back to settings overview and now what i want to show you is actually how to not get those kind of reviews on your product page what you want to do is to scroll down until the review widget and you want to click on review curation now over here you want to make sure that you turn off this button over here and this way every time that let's say somebody wants to post an actual review on your site you can make sure that you are the one that is approving this review and only if you find it a good review then you can publish it on your product page then people just writing whatever they want on your product page and then you need to go ahead and hide it so let's go ahead and save free settings now keep in mind that if you are going to do the exact same thing that I did right now, all the reviews on your product page, these ones that you actually want to have, they're going to disappear. Why? Because now you need to make sure that you go ahead and publish them and only then they are going to show up on your product page. So it's very, very simple to do. All you need to do is to go to reviews over here and over here, you want to just select all the reviews that you have. We do have 50. So let's have a page of 50 reviews. So over here, we have all the 50 reviews. You just select all of them and you deselect the ones that you don't want so let's say we don't want this one we just deselect that and we click on publish so just because we enabled the kind of approval request about reviews this is why you need to go ahead and actually publish all the reviews but trust me it's going to save you a lot of embarrassing reviews on your product page which can lead to lower conversion rates all right so that is pretty much it guys i hope you enjoyed this video and of course you took value out of it if you did make sure to first like this video and comment down in the comment section below if you liked this video and this app or maybe you found something that is working even better than this and of course make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already thank you so much for watching guys and until next time my friends peace